Now that we have set up our simulation, we are ready to perform some pre-run diagnostics to make sure the simulation is set up correctly and then run the simulation. First, let's switch to partition volume mode. Here, you will notice that the simulation is formed of three domains with a silicon layer in the middle surrounded by aluminum contacts on the top and bottom. Also, we can see that the anode boundary condition is applied to the top metal contact and cathode is assigned to the bottom. In addition, the n-type doping covers the entire structure and the p-type doping is only applied to the desired area of the device. It is also obvious that the band structure monitor stretches through the entire device structure along the Z direction. Next, let's run the error checking and diagnostics tool to see if the simulation contains any errors or warnings. Since there is no error reported, we can proceed to meshing the structure and viewing the doping profile. Click on the mesh button under the simulation section of the charge tab. After meshing the structure, to view the mesh and doping profile, right click on the charge solver object and select visualize grid. The N attribute in the visualizer window represents the net doping value within the simulation region and is visualized in the window when open. Positive values represent N-type doping and negative values are P-type. Here we can confirm that the PN junction is formed as intended. To view the mesh grid, simply click on show hide charge settings button and select mesh only from the show category of settings. You might need to zoom in using the mouse wheel to be able to see the mesh grid clearly. The triangular mesh grid formed by the solver is obvious in the view and the structure is accurately resolved by the mesh grid. In addition, you can see that the mesh is automatically refined at the junction interface where the doping suddenly changes from n-type to p in order to resolve this change more accurately. After setting up the simulation and performing pre-run diagnostics, we can run the simulation. To do so, click on the run button under simulation section of the charge tab. Once the simulation finishes running, results will be saved in the charge solver object and the charge solver icon in the object tree will include a small red square indicating that results are available. In the next unit, we will learn how to obtain and analyze the simulation results from this simulation.